Hello guys and welcome back to another video and today I'm doing another plugin tutorial in the last video we set set up our first plugin so all it does is start basically but now we're gonna do commands now I have a previous commands folder in my city RP which I can just sort of take a look at and remind myself of how I did it so the first thing you want to do is I'm just going to copy and paste this. Uh, the first thing you want to do is create a new class. You don't have to, you could have it all in one class, but it makes it a bit more organized. If you make a new class and call it commands, hit enter, and then it will just make this new class. And what you want to type up here is what we typed up here implements listener. So so that way over here we will do register the events this is so that we can use the at event handler now I just want to say before I start going into all the commands I'm doing it a different way to normal bucket plugin people it was a way Snapper Studios used to do and he's the one that taught me it and it's instead of using the on command um, on command method it's using this one here, which is the player command preprocess event. So whenever you run a command like slash slash help, for example, this uh, method is run before the on command method. So anything we do here will override the normal command stuff, and this allows us to not have to put anything in the plugin.ymal because usually you'll have to do commands. Wait, commands, and then you'd have to do a few spaces, then the command name, then enter a few spaces, description, all that annoying stuff. But since that, this is just going to be a custom plugin, and we're the only ones that's going to be using the plugin, we can do it this way. So what you want to do to start off with is e dot set. Wait for it to just load up all of the um, names. E dot set cancelled and true. Now what this means is when you run the command it cancels the command so it's not actually running the proper minecraft command so if i typed if i exported this and ran it on my server and i typed slash help nothing would happen but if i got rid of this cancelled it would do the normal minecraft help so now in order to make our first command we want to do if well we could do a string cmd equals e dot get message so what this does is it gets the message that the player sent so for example slash help and saves it as cmd and string is just a mixture of letters and numbers so down here if we do if cmd dot equals now you can either do dot equals or you can do dot equals ignore case so that means it just completely ignores whatever the um, whether it's uppercase or lowercase so we're going to do slash help to start with. So now when they do slash help, it cancels the normal slash help, gets their message, and then because it's slash help, it will run this. So we could do, um, we want to do also up here, player p, you could do ply, pl, I always do p, equals e dot get player. So that means the person that ran the command is then saved as this player p. So we could just do here p dot send message, and this is where we do um, the message we want to send them. So for example, you could do um, the commands for this server are the following. Are the following now you can also add color to this so I'm gonna add I'm gonna make it green so you want to type chat color dot and then you've got all of these down here so you've got aqua you've got two you've got two of each um, one is using the bungee cord API which we don't want to use because we're not using bungee cord we're just using spigot so we want to use org dot bucket the second one here so you've got aqua, black, blue, gold, uh, 
dark aqua, dark blue, dark grey, dark green, dark purple, dark red. Gold again? I thought we had gold up here. Oh no, that was bold, my mistake. So we've got gold, green, italics, uh, the light purple, which is pink. Magic is the randomly flashing, changing colours. Red, reset is just whatever the original colour was. Strike through, it's pretty obvious, it's just got a line through it. Strip colour pattern, I don't know what that is, but that's part of the bungee cord, so it doesn't matter. Underline, white, yellow, and that's all of them. So I'm just going to do green. And then you want to do space plus. Now, if you get an error on this, that means you haven't imported it, and I've imported the wrong one. So we want to change this to org dot bucket dot chat color. Okay, I'm just gonna delete it and re-import it. So if you've imported the wrong one by mistake, just hover over this and click the org dot bucket one. And here we go, org dot bucket dot chat color. So now we're just gonna send them a message saying this, but we want to say the actual commands. So at the end of here, you want to do slash n. Oops. Where's the slash? There we go, slash n, and that means a new line. So you can then press enter while you're inside the quotes. This is just so it's easier to understand. You can tab along so it's just neater. Now I'm going to make the rest of this chat color dot white. Oops, there's already a space. Oh, and I forgot the space up here. So chat color dot white, and then plus. I'm going to do a little bullet point, or you could do a zero, you could do an O, but I'm going to do a little dash and slash help, and then another dash to tell you what it does, which is shows the this help menu. So if I quickly save this and I export it. Uh, next and next. So now, if we go into my desktop, I have a lot of screenshots. Let's ignore all those. Move it into my test server. Oh, I need to move it into my plugins as well. Uh, replace. So, you want to replace your old plugin. Now, if you go back and you start up your server and once it's started I think that's fine oh it's still starting up I think Should be this bottom server here. Yeah, localhost. Uh, I don't know what any of that means. Let's just close it and reopen it. Close. Oops. Start. Here we go. When it says loading libraries, you know you've, it's worked. And I have an uh, email. Okay, so now it's properly loaded, it's just preparing the spawn again, as it does every time you log in. So if we join, and when we'll actually properly join once it's loaded all the spawn. 65, 62, 72, 89. Oh, okay, there we go, now we should log in. Let's just quickly cancel it just in case. Okay, so just logging in. So hopefully our plugins worked. We should be able to see in the chat whether it's loaded. Yep, it's been enabled. So if we do, hopefully, if we do slash help, it works, but it clearly doesn't.
and I know why. It's because in here we forgot to do the register of events, which is pretty stupid. So I've forgotten which one we needed to do for the register of events. Oh yeah. See. So you just want to copy this first uh, one here, paste it. And then you want to type new commands instead of the first this here. This basically means a new version of this class here. And now it should work if I export it. If I export the right one. Oh, why have I got an error? Oh, it's because I need to do main package. It imported the previous package for some reason. So now if we export. And then we actually export it. Should be able to move this tutorial.jar straight into the plugins folder. Place it. Reload. Okay, it looks like it's enabled. Type slash help, and there we go. It works. So, commands for the server are the following. Slash help shows this help menu, which is exactly what we typed here. Commands for the server are the following shows the help menu. And you can see it's on a new line. It's green, like I said. You could make it red, for example. And what you could also do is, when you're exporting it, is choose the destination to be directly into your plugins file. file. So, uh, I think this is how you do it, how you copy it directly on Mac. <laughs> I've never had to copy the destination name. But yeah, you could just go straight into, oops, not plugins, test, was it test server? Yeah. Oh, I did a dot on the seek. So just export it straight into your plugins file, reload, and hopefully it should work. Yep, there you go, it's red. And we could do, let's try gold. Right click, export. If I can reload from here, I forgot to reload. I'll, I'll just do it from here just in case. Oh, look, there we go. There's our broadcast as well. The server is shutting down, which we did in the first tutorial here. Server shutting down. It isn't actually shutting down though. It, this on disable, it runs when the plugin turns off. So, when you reload, that's what it says. And if we do slash help, it's now gold. So, you can just mess around with these commands. I will show you how to do more advanced commands like TP, but this is just the basic way to do it. So, you can also do if cmd dot equals ignore case. Uh, I keep doing that. Slash blah blah. And you can do p dot. I have no idea what else you could do. Add potion effect or something. Uh, oh, p.chat's always a good one. You can make them send a message. So you can make them type slash game mode one, for example. In fact, no, let's just make them say something. This is cool. So if you type slash blah blah, it will make you say the words this is cool so I don't think I can reload on the game so slash blah blah this is cool see it makes you chat that so you can just mess around with these commands I'm gonna delete this one and you can make your own I will be showing how to do more advanced commands um, I will also be doing more plugin tutorials, uh, not plugin tutorials, I'll be doing more Minecraft command block tutorials, but I'm just not going to do them right now because I'm focusing more on the plugins because they're a lot more interesting to do 
and you can do a lot more with plugins than just vanilla Minecraft. And that's pretty much it for this video, so thank you guys for watching, and I shall see you in the next video.